What is the nicest way to curb a guy or a girl? Like, I'm not interested in you. Oh, that's a good one. Babe. It's the only way. Did you did you write that? Uh, the when it's when uh, you know they're texting you or something like that, and you just don't text back or like. Yeah. You just fade out. Are you blunt in exactly. the text at all? If you do text back, is it like a blunt answer and you're like, I hope she gets the point? Or No, no it's the fade. You just don't do anything. Okay. You just ghost. Ghost. Oh, ghost it. Ghost or, or, you, or you talk, or like I should just, oh no, the fade is when you're talking and then you slowly tone it down a notch every so The length between texts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Until... So it just stops. Until, yeah, until it just stops. The way I do it, I'm just I'm playing, I'm like, that's, I don't know. Or you can just oh, tell the truth, but then just sometimes you feel like an ass about it. Victor's about his himself, so he's recounting. No, 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 I'm saying, <laughs> never mind, just look too much. Next time, what are you doing real? Next time, you got ghosted? Oh, my God. I didn't get ghosted. Whoever you are who ghosted him, you're going to be sorry. And you know who you are, too. Yeah, I hope you're right. Thanks for trying. Thanks for trying. Alright, so this says slut shaming. Why are girls considered easy if they sleep with a guy on the first date? The guy who's an interest, why is he not considered a slut? <laughs> Wait, oh, <there's> <laughs> It's not right. It's not right, but it's how it's it a, is. It's just that's how, how it is. Since the beginning of the yeah. time, that's how it's like like racism it's exists. Natural. You know, I'm not saying it's. I don't advocate for it, but I'm not going to sit here and say racism. But exists. why is the guy considered a slut if he sleeps with her on the first date as well? Yeah, Neil. Two to tango him. Um. Well. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, man, I'm with you. I don't no, you know, historically that. speaking, like men are expected to, you know, sleep with women, impregnate Why? women. Why? That's just how it. Like, no, yeah. that's not. This that's just that's 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 so with that being said, do you lose interest in the girl if she hooks up with you the first night? Do you think less of her at all? Or do you think, hey, this is your liberty and your will, you can do whatever you want, I'm down, meet me in the bedroom? It's going down. I cannot date a girl that I slept with on the first night. No. Uh, you can't take her seriously? I can't. Because you, okay, because women, you guys test us. What if you guys have a connection? I can't. Do it. It's built she on a foundation. What if it's the best sex no, that you ever had? It's just a connection. You can it's always find better. No. Uh, See, guys, girls, you guys test this, right? Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Rewind. Hold on. What do you mean you can always find, find better? better. Mm. What if it's the best, yeah. ultimate best, and you guys have a connection and you're drawn to her and you want to get to know her more as an individual? What are you gonna do? Yeah. You know what? You can't stop love. You know how you girls, you know? like, in life, you guys throw, like, tests at us, you know? Like, Cat. you know what I'm saying? You guys throw tests at us, right? Like, <laughs> you, <laughs> women, women, women challenge, men challenge you guys too. Like, I, I come at her, like, hey, but, like, I'm secretly hoping, like, if she's gonna be on some long term stuff with me personally, like, you gotta let me wait a little bit, you know? Mm. Like, you got to, you know? Because if you're throwing it at me the first night, then who's to say you're not throwing it at some other charismatic, more handsome, more rich dude, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> First night as well. He's I'm advertising saying. himself. Okay. No. So I'm just saying, make me work a little bit. Hold on, let's hear it. Oh, going the next night. Your brain. The next girl. He exactly. Hold on. Come on, Rick. Come on, Rick. What is it? 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 I mean, I can totally explain Neo. It's like psychological. It's like that that like endorphin that you get from that weight. Like there's the there's the desire. Anticipation. The anticipation. Yeah. It's like. You know, it builds. It builds. Uh, was this answered already? But don't let it build too long for that.
right and the woman, woman is the neck. neck. Shout out so to my big fat Greek wedding. So we decide which way it turns. <laughs> Without right. them even knowing it. Yes. My That's big true. Greek wedding. Yeah, think about it. That's very think true. Think about it. So the we subliminally let you, you think, think that you got that it. you're in control, but you're really not. Oh, we're really in control. We're the neck. You're the head. So, so who's the I, 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 <laughs> So you guys with a simple leader? I'm like, a natural leader. Yeah. But you got it. When, like, you recognize what they're trying to say, but it's like, dude, you, I'm this, I'm not fighting this. I'm, it's better to you just, just not fight. In. Who's to say the guy doesn't let you think that he's let you're letting him think that he's a little bit? That's, you know men saying? aren't that smart, I'm sorry. You're, so smart. <laughs> you're not that intricate. That's not true, though. <laughs> let me tell you something. If they, if, they, if, they, if, they, if they watch, and like, if you guys watch straight up, like, we can tell you otherwise. Like, I just have this mindset where any relationship where the man isn't the leader will inevitably fail. Like the man, you know what I'm saying? Like mm, you know, that's, 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 that's the protector. If I protect you, why should I be the leader? Set. I think that the man needs to step in when he needs to, because like with me and Vince, when Vince needs to step in, he steps in and he takes the ring. I think, but like stuff, I you I, guys I, got we, to say in like the day to day operations. Yeah. But at the end of the day, the real Perfect. big thing is. That's the man's. And I would think that has to be submissive. What show? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're Hispanic and your ethnicity is you from the mother. Africa. Yeah. Right? Yes, ma'am. Well, I'm from here, but. No, <laughs> that, that, That's how it is. All right. Is it acceptable to care less about your appearance and expect your partner to stay, letting yourself go? Is it realistic to stay the way you were when you first met? Or is it okay? Yeah, hey, know. you know, I'm in love and you should love me regardless like of what I'm Like physically, like, like if someone like, stops running or they start eating. People all need to be changing in a relationship. Like, yeah. That's the one thing that I can say is that we all need to be that's what progressing and, yeah. and coming together closer. Yeah. And that requires time. I think that's what defines what true love is and it differentiates from like just physical attraction. If you really love somebody, no matter what their outward appearance is, like you're going to love together. them no matter if totally. they're big, small. Beautifully exactly. said. Beautifully. So, look at Neil. He's so freaking superficial, man. He's no, like, that's not true. He's, he's like, no, like, you need to know to like cultural. how it's, I met you. No, 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 it's not true. I'm just. If saying, you can't love yourself, there, probably listen, you I'm not saying you have to look the exact same way, but like, again, beauty is subjective, right? So, what I might like you to look like might not be the same thing that he, or she, or he, right? And but, face. As long as you take care of yourself, you know, make the conscious effort, to, you know, do my thing. Do you know. understand why like, when women have babies, their body changes and it's harder for them That's to get back I'm to I'm not saying you have to get back to that. So it's, it's, you're making it like it's a superficial thing. No, like, if you no. Have, you love I'm not somebody, saying you have to, you have you have to somebody, shed all that, that weight. Renee. So they should I'm be more beautiful. I'm not saying you have to or anyone. So has. then they should be more beautiful after they bear your children because no, they you should sacrifice your body you for me. Should be in love with who they are. Yeah. 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 The physical aspect of it. No. It's it, this is someone this, you're considering to being your soulmate. This person connects with me. You're my 50/50. You're my front, my back, my everything. All that stuff does not matter. None of that matters. Because when it all comes down to it, who's going to be there when you're sick, cold, hungry, alone? That person. Because that's love your of your significant life. other. Yep. You're not going to, if you sick with the flu and you got boogers coming out your nose <laughs> who's and throwing up. If that person loves you, that's nothing. They're cleaning that up and I still love you anyway you go. So that's okay. Boom. Good job. Yes. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't winning that argument. No, don't no, worry. I'm the uh, neck. You the head. All right. Next question. Can you find true love on Tinder? <laughs> Wait. Who wrote this? Tinder app. Girl, seriously. Wait. What is that? Seriously. Do you, do you take girl uh, Tinder girls seriously, and do you take Tinder guys seriously? Can you when find someone love says they met on Tinder, I think to myself, all right, I want to see. I want to hear more about this. Mm -hmm. hmm. I had a bad experience on Tinder. <laughs> You're on Tinder? Not anymore. <laughs> I don't know what it is. What? I don't know what it is. Um, so, I mean, we, I know what it is, but I've never been on it. You but, should. Uh, yeah, you there's no reason for me to be. But I just, I wonder, can you 
find real love on Tinder is that, I mean... Tinder, not Tinder. Find out his <laughs> Tinder in like seven months. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think? Do you, oh, do you take girls seriously on Tinder? Like if you're on that app, do you take them seriously or they just have one night stand? I've tried it and it doesn't work for me. It doesn't like, work I'll just start, I once was like, dude, I'm just going to start swiping right. Like, great. I'm just swiping right, just throwing this real wide net out that's there, just like, trying to get something. That's another thing, because I've seen the app and I see how it is. I get like it's three, like, it's like three matches. <laughs> All people I would never want to go based on just a photo or two, I would not want to meet up with this person. It's like, this doesn't work for me. But it's so. just their photo. It's it like nothing about either. them. It's just like, oh, But here. that's why they just worth a thousand words. Connection. What if they're like super, super, super stupid the... or something and you really don't Mine's connect not them, corny. Mine's like, like you have nothing in common, but you just like their photo, so you just Mine's meet them. Mine's genuine. I just, just got the worst type of DM. I was like, uh-uh. Uh, no. So I, met a guy, I met a guy on Tinder two years ago and he started following me on Instagram and all of a sudden he works for the same company I do. So oh, that's nice. how we connected. Oh, oh, so you made a friend. So, I think he's more than a creepy? friend. Uh, I was gonna say, it's almost stalkery at first, but then he started no. following me on Instagram. No, 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 no. I put myself out there. So if you want to see more photos of me instead of the one or two basic photos that are posted, you can see more. So he started working at your place after he saw you? No, in he was working for the same uh, they happened company. They happen to work the same company. Oh, yeah, we worked okay. for the same company. And then a friend put in good word for me two years later. Like, But we never talked. Oh. So all he did was just follow me on social media. Right. And then finally my friend was like, say what's up. hey, <laughs> this is a good girl. And then she checked that up. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I guess you can find some love on Tinder. I don't know. Love, hold on. What I'm saying, you can find a connection. A connection, on Tinder. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it depends on where you live. No, I mean, yeah, you know, I lived in New York City for a couple of years, and everyone was on those social dating app sites, including Tinder, and people were really fine. You know, you'd be My surprised roommate. in like, oh, New York City. Yes. I thought it was a hookup like, site. Yeah. It I is. thought it was like people evolving get, into just like a straight people. up hookup site. Yeah. My roommate. You're you're there. There. I don't know, I think maybe it'd be... Wow. I think it'd be two years. Yeah. I'll stay away. Uh, That's it's not for everybody. It's new generation. It's, no. It could be either or. That's what I would say. I mean, actually... Why are men so difficult to communicate with? Right? Why are men difficult to communicate actually, with? Actually, I don't agree with this. Because I'm a very bad communicator. With what they want or need. Like, why can't you guys just come out and say, Hey, this is what I want. This is what I need. Yeah, exactly. I'm an outlier. Oh, I can no. totally do that. I mean, men I'm are actually I'm a, I'm a very easy to communicate with, Nikita. We are the most basic. Like, <laughs> our needs are very simple. We need three things. <laughs> I can speak for Break down the thing. I can speak for Listen, up. guys. I need, I, can I need my house clean and. <laughs> No, you're one for three. <laughs> <laughs> we need, listen, listen. We need we need support. Okay. We need loyalty mm -hmm. and we need sex. That's it. <laughs> okay, That's so it. what if you get all those? And right. And y'all still fine. doing what you want to do. If we lack communication, if the communication is lacking, because men, we're we're the most basic. So you guys need more than we. You guys like to talk it out and do things more than we do. Like I'm telling you guys right now, it's not that we're bad communicators, but we're just like very simple like hmm. for a guy you know, he can just coast about the day and go about his business like no other where with girls it's a little more you know you guys analyze things interpret things think a little bit more we go deeper you know what i'm saying deeper into it you know what deeper, i'm saying so that's deeper, that's what it is with gentlemen so so guys if you're watching this make sure that you just communicate that you need your house clean you need support <laughs> yes. you need loyalty and, and you need some sex <laughs> Cleaning the house goes into the support part of the house. He's loyal. Don't look at Idris Elba when you're at Dre's in Vegas. Oh, know? God. And then when we come home, you know what I'm saying? After a long day's work, I don't want to talk about problems or the coworker you don't like or this creepy dude. I just want to eat, have a conversation, and get to the <laughs> All of the men watching. Oh yeah, my absolutely. god! Absolutely. Is that true? Um, he says no. He's, he's just saying he's, 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 he's hate. He's telling you what you want to hear. I'm gonna pretty much totally agree with everything that comes out of his mouth. There we go. That's why you're my Oh no! Why are men cowards at breaking up? 
Why do they act out forcing the woman to throw in the towel and call? Oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, can I, can I get to ask that question? Let me see this again. Who asked that question? She said, why are men cowards, cowards at breaking up? Mm -hmm. Why is it at house forcing the women to throw in the towel and because call they, I think because they don't want to take the responsibility of ending something that possibly could have been amazing. They don't want that, that burden on them. So they just act crazy and... No, no, they just don't have the balls to say it's over. I'm gonna have to agree with you. That is the absolute truth. A lot of men, we they don't want to break we, we, we have insecurities that we don't like to, to put out there, and it's tough for a guy because when a guy breaks up with a girl, it's like okay, he has to really work on himself. And as you guys know, the unknown is very scary. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He has to, he has to become that dude. He's got to lose some weight. He's got to learn some skills. He's got to better himself. And that journey, it's hard. It's hard for a lot of people. It's very hard. Here's the next one. Is being too independent a bad thing? You gotta um, love yourself before you can love someone else. And you you gotta be, when you get earth like if you get married or in a relationship, you gotta be okay not if someone goes on vacation or you gotta be okay not having a status update every hour. Yeah. That's yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. Now, That's I true. I haven't been able to date anybody because they say I'm too independent. Trust. I don't make any time for them. Like she works too much, she has her oh, okay. own yeah. everything. No, that's and they if, just... if if that's a problem, then yeah, that's a good security you've got to work on. You shouldn't want a woman that could you know, do her own it. thing. She doesn't need you because neediness is is unattractive. On mm. Mm. She Ooh. don't need you, but she that's wants you. You know what I'm saying? That's that's different. That's a good one. Okay. Thank you. I'm not as bad as you think, bro. I'm not. You're smart. You <laughs> know Major key. Major key. <laughs> How can a relationship go from completely enthralled to totally uninterested at a flip of a switch? I know who asked that. Oh. Yes. <sighs> How can you be like, I'm so crazy about you, and then like, game over. You think, you think you know too much about the person you're dating. You stop learning about each other. You stop covering new secrets about each other. You so stop doing things. You become complacent. You gotta every day enjoy being or the person you're with and learning about who they are. Do you get bored? Is the decision with yourself? Like, I'm gonna stop learning about you so I'm checking out? Or is it because the other person is not interesting? No, if, if, you, if you got with them already, Amanda, in the beginning, it's because there was something interesting, but you have to keep going after that interesting stuff. Tell me something new. You know, you don't. You, you, you have to have a cool conversation. Right, but why do you stop after, it? No, it's just, after a while, you project this image how they should be after you get to know them, and then when things, people change or circumstances change, and when that they don't fit inside that box of how you, what you see what they should be, then it's like, well, then that's when like problems come. You're not because you're not because you're not willing to adapt to the way how this person is changing because everything is so everything is fluid everything in life is fluid it's not it stays the same forever hmm. I agree. That, that was a good one next question <laughs> you want to know what his number is what do you mean by that oh i know what that means Phone number? body count oh. yeah oh. You think it's relevant? I think it's not relevant. I think it can only create problems. Yes, mm -hmm. irrelevant, but I mean, you get you... judged off the number right away. Right. You know? It's like, what do you do if their number is like twice as much as yours? Exactly. It's like, then you're like, well, I gotta go out and do some work Let's before, I come, back, before <laughs> I come back into this. What does, well, if a girl's number is very high, does that make you feel like you won't be able to perform as well? But you shouldn't be upset no, because absolutely. before you. And, Absolutely not. Oh. As long as, again, that loyalty part, she's never given me any reason exactly. to believe that she could step out on me. You know, I'm good. Yes, I, you wouldn't be intimidated by a girl who has a high body count. No, I don't, I, don't, I don't ask that. I never, I don't know why guys like to ask girls, like, hey, just like, don't, I tell guys, don't ever ask her what her body count is. Because you're not going to like the answer, whether it's a low count or a high count. I don't think girls are you know? it like, is as, as long as she shows you that she's about you when you guys are together and you have no reason yeah. to think otherwise. That's just your past. That's you. That's all yeah. you know. You're a racist person who is in front of you right now. Absolutely. That's right. Well, it'd be amazing. Well, some of you. Rich is the man, guys. The ones that are. Rich is the man. Rich is the man.
Oh, I'm going to go I'm going to go there. All right. Okay, this is kind of similar. It's okay to kiss and tell. Oh, is it okay to kiss and tell? W-W? Oh, um, I said that. Okay. <laughs> is it okay to kiss and tell with uh, people that you've been intimate with? Uh, case in point, the game was just on Wendy Williams, and he told how he slept with Chloe and Kim and what? Black China. <laughs> Yeah, he was on he was on national television and he said that. So do you think that was corny that he did that or do you think like You don't do that in public or on a national platform. Or you like, tell Wendy Williams, don't ask trying. me about my love life before <laughs> I don't know why she does that. Like, he's, you just don't trying, do that. he's just trying to call he's call trying attention to himself.